We're going to talk about three giant mistakes made when preparing for a marathon. The marathon is a tricky puzzle. It can go terribly wrong if only one piece of the puzzle is missing or even just a little off. If you've run this race before, I'm sure you'd agree that the marathon is very unforgiving. So in this video, we're going to help you get a lot closer to achieving your goals for the marathon. Whether you are looking to try to finish in under four hours like Haven or in two hours and 37 minutes like Evan, these are the three biggest mistakes you need to avoid when preparing for the marathon. Nice. Sometimes we get a little too immersed into the Strava virtual world and we start to believe that the 7.30 per mile on your watch in Strava is equal to the 7 minutes and 30 seconds that it'll take to run from one mile marker to the next mile marker on a real race course. You'll need up to five more seconds to complete each mile on the race course to feel a similar effort that you had during your training runs according to your watch. Why? Running off tangents while on the race course and inflated GPS tracking while training and racing will both add distance to your Strava result. So, if you successfully ran 650 per mile for marathon pace workouts at home according to your watch, then expect to race at 655 per mile in actuality. Racing too hard in comparison to the actual effort level during training is a huge reason why people hit the wall during a marathon. And if actual 650 per mile or 259.59 is the goal, then according to your watch, practice marathon pace at 645. Man, I don't know what happened. I mean, I did all those marathon pace runs around the neighborhood, but during the race, everything just fell apart. Sometimes convenience is the driver for making decisions about run courses. Very short neighborhood loops can make it simpler to access a restroom or to reload with nutrition. And a lot of times the running route is pancake flat. This situation can cause a heap of problems. First, without practicing on varied terrain, the actual marathon course will be extremely difficult. Staying calm and managing pace on long inclines need to be practiced. In addition, on a short loop with a ton of repeated tight turns, GPS tracking cannot accurately record your track on those turns when you're moving fast. So your watch will record your pace faster than what it actually is, and that can lead you to overestimate your fitness and run too hard during the race. So do your training runs on varied terrain that will get you more accustomed to the ups and downs of the course on race day. Come join us in the long run. We're doing cruise intervals at different paces. Um, no thanks. I have 60 miles. I just want to do it at easy pace. It's really easy to treat the distance or time on feet in a long run as the main stress factor. I mean, it can be daunting to see an 18 mile or two hour run on the training schedule. Often we make the mistake of going out at an easy pace and just getting it done. After an hour of running, it's always hard at any pace. So many of us get sucked into just hanging on at the same pace from the first mile to the last mile. And because of this weekly repetition of doing the same long, slow distance or LSD run at the same pace and at similar distances, we improve very little or we only maintain our current fitness. In order to move the fitness graph to the right, meaning get faster with less effort, then we have to incorporate a weekly progression. You have to schedule the weeks so that you can see improvement in your goal marathon pace running as you draw closer to race day. And that has to happen each and every week on long run day. So don't just punch in and punch out for your long runs. Look forward to building milestone runs that will build your fitness and confidence come race day. Hey, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and drop a comment below if you think there are bigger training tragedies than the ones listed in this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a meaningful run today and I'll see you in the next one.